Hello everyone, this is Iggy for Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. And today I went over to storage and I found a box that was simply marked 40th anniversary. So I thought, well, I'll take this home and, and uh, explore the contents with you. And it looks like there's like seven different sets here. Uh, the box was just marked with this on the the date in 40th G.I. Joe's. But what I found interesting about that, I've already uh, taken a look at what was in the box. But what I found interesting about it was that it must have been some sort of subconscious salute to my mom because my mom didn't like uh, war toys. So she got me... Uh, when I was a boy, I got all the sets that did not include uh, rifles or machine guns and things like that. So the first one up out of the box is the MP, and he does have a handgun, but uh, no rifle, no helmet. But it's a pretty cool set. Let's, let's take a look at the back. You guys have probably seen all these before. And these photographs are from their sales brochure that they gave to the uh, people that went around to the various outlets, retail outlets, to sell G.I. Joe. So here we have the Eisenhower jacket. And uh, this would be typical of an MP uh, in the 1950s. Okay, you know, you hear me talk about uh, mom a lot. So, you know, since I'm in my bedroom today, I can't film in uh, in the uh, kitchen today because it's covered with cabins, wagons, and cowboys. Now, there's mom and dad. I think this was taken, uh, um, gosh, when was this taken? I think in the 1950s, like 1959. So that's mom and dad. And here's a ma my mom towards the end of her life. And that's uh, Kelly, my beloved dog. She passed away in 2013. Uh, mom passed away in uh, 2004 in January. And dad passed away in 1989 on April 30th and everyone says I look like my dad that you know that's so if you want to know what Iggy looks like there you go there's Iggy that's my dad oh here's a picture of my dad when he was in the army during World War II he's a handsome guy anyway that's I'm just a little side trip there so this one is the MP Okay, and that's set number five in the series. And you could get an MP helmet, which came in a later set, and I'll show you that uh, towards the end of this video. All right, the next one up is the Medic. And I remember getting this for Christmas. This, of course, is mom approved because it's about saving lives and not taking them. I'm not sure why I was so militaristic when I was a kid, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's kind of weird when you have an eight-year-old little fascist <laughs> wandering around the neighborhood with his toy squirt gun that looks like an MP40 and a little plastic. You know, uh, Mark's Toys released something that they called the Souvenir Collection, and it was an actual reproduction of a uh, German helmet, and I used to wear one of those. Probably freaked out. Today, of course, that would be totally unacceptable. So there you have that. And that came with the, the Marine. So actually, the you know it's kind of funny. I never thought of the this, but the medic should have gone with the army, 
because the Marines had a Navy corpsman. So this set here would have been Army and not Marines. It's the first time I thought of that. Anyway, this is a set number nine. All right, next one out of the box here is the Navy Attack, and this is the seventh in a series. And this comes with the Life Preserver or Mae West, um, a signal gun or signal. What do they call that? What do they call blinker light? So they could send uh, messages uh, using a light or using semaphore flags. Now, my brother, uh, he was in the Coast Guard, but prior to joining the Coast Guard, he was in the Sea Explorers, and he learned how to use semaphore flags, which is sort of an esoteric uh, talent on his behalf, but it's kind of funny that he knew how to do that, or, or kind of neat, actually. It came with binoculars, and uh, I had this as a kid, because it's pretty much nonviolent. Now, interesting a lot enough, the first G.I. Joe I ever received was in 1964. My dad went on a business trip. He came back, and he had a G.I. Joe sailor for me, and he was a blonde, just like this one. All right, let's see what else is in the box here. You guys have seen all these before, so you're, it's nothing new here. Now, this is a, a hard set to get. Uh, this was not released to the toy stores because Hasbro dropped the, uh, the line. They lost interest in it. And this is the... Um, the Air Force dress uniform uh, from the 1950s, early 60s. I don't know what the Air Force uniform looks like. Now, I know that recently they changed the dress uniforms for the services. And I think they made them more retro looking, which I thought was very cool. And I had this set when I was uh, a kid. Uh, this set here I bought on uh, eBay for $25. Nobody else bid on it. I, I, I couldn't believe it when I got it for $25. I think there was even free shipping on it. So this is one of those once-in-a-lifetime deals. Anyway, there's the... Uh, Air Force dress uniform. I only have one of these in the 40th line. Most of the 40th anniversary figures, I, I have either two or three sets. But this particular one, I only had one. Okay, next up is the Dress Marine. Got some light reflection. You know, the cellophane makes it really difficult to film. I had this when I was a kid. And uh, the only G.I. Joe picture I have surviving from the 1960s is a picture of my G.I. Joe standing at attention with his rifle. And uh, it's the only one that survived from all those years ago. So that's a pretty cool set. Mom got me that for Christmas. And let's see what's next. Okay, now we're getting into... Let's see. Let's try this one. Uh, this is definitely not mom approved. Because <laughs> you got the uh, 30 caliber machine gun there. I remember one of my brother's uh, friends who had served in the army came over and he saw my uh, um, G.I. Joe's. Now, I did get a 30 caliber machine gun at the very end of G.I. Joe years. It was on clearance at Woolworth's 
and I think I got it for like 30 cents or 50 cents or something like that. It's unbelievably cheap. Um, I never got the MP helmet. I had a shore patrol helmet that I used for my MP, which is kind of funny. <laughs> An MP with a shore patrol helmet. <coughs> Pardon me. I did get some sandbags uh, at Woolworths when I bought the clearance items. And I bought a uh, rifle and cartridge belt. I bought a helmet and I bought some carded German equipment. And I still, of course, have all those things. And I was going to go back to Woolworths when I got my allowance the next week. And it was all gone. Every And there was like a ton of it. And it was all gone. Not even a piece of lint. So sometimes when you see something, you got to grab it right away. Okay, this is the last one, guys. And this one is... Uh, I got it upside down. This is Beachhead Assault, and it's eighth in a series. And this is a really nice set because you get the cartridge belt, the rifle, the pack, the um, e-tool, canteen, and grenades. The only thing you're missing is the helmet. And I think I did a video on where you can get helmets because if you buy the 40th anniversary sets, you'll notice that uh, they only issued a helmet. Well, for instance, um, with the army, they released the helmet in the exclusive Foot Locker from Target, and then they released a helmet in, I think, set number 23, which was never released to retailers and was part of the, um, G.I. Joe Collectors Club. And uh, it was pretty expensive. But uh, you still can get helmets from Cotswold Collectibles. So if you have this set, you can buy a helmet from Cotswold Collectibles. So this is a really nice set. Set number eight. And I think I have a couple of these as well. We'll show you. Oh, he's a redhead. My uh, G.I. Joe uh, soldier was a redhead. And that's the one I played with the most. When I was in a boy in school, I used to make fun of a girl that was a redhead. I would call her Bozo, and I made her cry. And her mom shook me by the shoulders and said, What's wrong with you? Are you an evil little boy? And uh, I apologized. I think her name was Marsha, and I apologized to her. But karma has a funny way. No, it's not karma. Uh, it could be God has a funny sense of humor. Because years later, I fell madly in love with this girl who had hair this color. And oh my God, did she rip my heart out. <laughs> I mean, that's an understatement. Okay, that's all I got for you on this one. I, just, I wanted to make this one quick because uh, you guys have seen all this before. The next one I'm going to do will be uh, Toy Soldiers again. I'm not going to do the Western one quite yet. I think I'm going to follow up with uh, the Revolutionary War. Um, there is one other thing I wanted to mention to you is that I've noticed that there seems to be some hostility towards uh, toy soldier collecting. For instance, when I uh, talked about my uh, YouTube page at with this woman at work, she became furious at me and started yelling. I'm not kidding. She was like yelling at me like, ah, that's horrible. Why would you do that? It's horrible. And I'm like, calm down. I mean, people collect coins. People collect a lot of different things. And uh, she thought it was childish and stupid. And so I was uh, talking to my friend John on the phone, and uh, he said that his wife is not too cool with these kinds of things, so he doesn't collect. And um, I called my friend Doug, and he said his wife likes it best when he 
sells the stuff. Uh, she didn't give him too much grief about it, but she does like it when he sells it off. Um, I think I shared a story when I went into uh, Toys R Us and a woman contacted management and I had a manager and three employees. Uh, they wanted to escort me out of the building because they said that uh, there was a complaint that I was bothering people. All I was doing is looking at G.I. Joe's. Anyway, I hope you guys are not being bothered like that. Everyone should be free to collect what they like and not worry about uh, judgmental people. That's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you for getting Iggy with it, and I'll have another video for you very soon. Thank you for my recent subscribers. Uh, I appreciate you uh, signing up, and uh, I hope to have a lot of content for you in the near future. Thanks, guys. Take care.